This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, what's the only thing greater than ninjas? Robot ninjas, which is what you'll find in this game, it's the excellent Ninja Warriors for Super Nintendo. The Ninja Warriors, to be specific, from Taito from 1994. This is one of the most entertaining side-scrolling action games you'll find on the Super Nintendo. You'll get not one, not two, but three Super Ninjas to choose from. Big, strong, ninja, fast, blonde ninja, and ninja who looks like he came out of Evangelion. This one is my favorite. He strikes a nice balance between speed and attack power. Ninja Warriors is not a terribly complex game, and it's fairly short, but damn is it a lot of fun. And it's extremely cool. There's a lot of games like this on the Super Nintendo, but this one plays really well and of course it's got a great style to it. Robot Ninjas, you can't go wrong with that. Each of your warriors has standard attacks and a bunch of special attacks. If that yellow bar on the bottom fills up, you've got a super move, which clears out all of the enemies or does a lot of damage to them. Pretty handy when you're surrounded, and that's the key to getting through this game. Don't get surrounded. Keep all of the enemies on one side of the screen away from you, and then kill them all quickly. Preferably by picking them up and throwing them into each other. Or by using your arm swords, or simply watching them walk into giant fan blades. Morons, this has the perfect blend of mid-90s cheesiness and excellent gameplay. So it's not just cool because it's kind of funny, it's cool because it's kind of funny and it's a lot of fun to play. A pretty rare combination, actually. It's got that unmistakable Super Nintendo sound, totally different than what you'll get out of the Sega Genesis, and the game's only real weak point that I can find at least, is the lack of a two-player mode. It seems like it would be perfect for two players, but nope, nope, it's just you and your three ninjas. Fighting evil alone. Must every 1990s action game have a subway level? I think it was required by law that there be at least one subway level somewhere in your video game. And the inside of a mall. There were definitely a lot of malls in the 90s. You're not going to get a lot of fancy backgrounds in the Ninja Warriors. And you'll see a lot of the same enemies, but the game is so extremely likable. All of that is forgiven. The end bosses in particular are very charming and fun to kill. Like this one, invisible grenade throwing end boss. What game is complete without that? Oh, it's 1990s garage level, gotta have that too. You can continue pretty much indefinitely, but if you'd like to make it through the game on one credit, good luck. It does get challenging after a while. I find the music fairly average and the graphics are okay, but what makes the game fun is that it's extremely fun. It's really a cool game. A lot of style and that's a good thing because you'll pay to have this in your collection. Ninja Warriors must be rare because it's extremely pricey to collect, but I think it's worth it. 
Robot ninjas stabbing bad guys? Worth its weight in gold or melted down robot ninjas. On that deep thought, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Boston, Massachusetts to Joshua from Boston. Thank you for sending the Ninja Warriors. Super highly recommended on the Super Nintendo.